Welcome to Unleashed. And don't forget to join us on Patreon for early access and exclusive content. Here are the guys. Welcome to Unleashed. I'm James. This is Brock. <gasps> Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. This is Monday Monday morning. Everybody waking up, rising and shining. Not going to, most of you not going to work. Some of you are going to work. Thank you all for joining us. Stick with us. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. We normally don't say that off the top, but I just thought of it because we might have just finished recording something else where I said, <laughs> said that right at the end. So it was at the forefront of my mind. Brock, how are you doing today? Oh, you know, I haven't seen outside in a few days. Uh, <laughs> just uh, living that ISO life. <laughs> so I, I, so you, you, have, you have two roommates. Uh, one of them if you haven't seen but do you do you interact with your roommates or do you all wear masks around each other and latex gloves no. what's going on <laughs> no not really because it's sort of like i don't know it's i feel like even if we were to mask ourselves we're still spreading germs in yes. some way so i i, I, don't know. I uh, from what i know if you wear a mask the mask will not protect you from a virus but if you have a virus it will protect those around you right. from it. So uh, really, people that are wearing them, unless you, you are the one carrying a virus of any kind, you're not doing anyone any favors by wearing that thing. You're not helping your, your case out. Just wash your hands. Last week when we were allowed to go outside, I was training people at work for cameras, and there's this one dude. He's kind of weird. He's a good guy. He's just... It's just like one second I, I look at him and I look away to grab a piece of equipment or something because I was training how to do how to operate cameras. And I look back and he's wearing a mask. I was like, what? <laughs> like Sub-Zero and like, Scorpion have invaded. He's like, you can wear the mask. It's just like, what happened in the 30 se- or the 10 seconds I looked away from you where you didn't have a mask on? So, yeah, uh, I think uh, Star Wars should get on like branding the masks. They should look like uh, Darth Vader. Vader, <laughs> stormtroopers. You can have a yeah. mall mask with little like corn sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> you get, like Mandalorian, Sabine, Ahsoka ear mask or hair. R2. R2. Yeah, BB 8. BB 8, perfect for one of those circular masks. Yeah. Unbelievable. But uh, most people, like schools were in March break originally during this time, but trips yeah. have basically all been canceled. People that are working at work, a lot of them are working from home. People are trapped indoors. We are trapped indoors. We're going to bring you all the content that we can during this time. Mm-hmm. Brock, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do as much content as we possibly can during it. We have live streams at 12 p.m. Eastern for lunch. Uh, and Monday night, obviously, the Monday night live stream is a go. Wednesday night, episode 161 of the podcast. And we will have two episodes of Scavenger Scum, one on th- Tuesday, one on Thursday as well. Both uh, 7 p.m., I believe. So we're going to try to entertain you all as much as we can while you're at home yelling at your kids if you have them <laughs> or taking your cat out for a poop. Do you take cats? They pad their boxes. They know what they're doing. Taking your dog out for a poop. Your for, cat out for a poop. <laughs> well, I mean, you're probably so like stir crazy. I'll be like, kitty, come. And you put the cat on a leash and go for a walk. Are you updating your computer? No, it's my, my, it's, uh, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> All right. There's an event that we have to cancel. So now people are, there's a group chat going oh on. i just got that and that was your roommate uh setting that last message yeah uh, <sighs> just uh, starting a fight as usual anyways <laughs> oh good that sounds good anyway less brock drama more star wars <laughs> drama emerald city comic con has been canceled and rescheduled for august 23rd which is good news it's um, no one- what was that WonderCon was coming up as well, and that's going to be pushed back. That's yeah, pushed back. So things that are coming out now are being pushed back. Toronto Comic Con canceled, but Fan Expos at the end of the summer anyway, which is yeah. So that's sufficient. There's a lot of talk, a lot of worry that Star Wars Celebration will be canceled. Now the podcast stage, the media applications, all these things have just recently opened up. I think it was Wednesday when the NBA canceled. Is basically the exact same time media applications. Uh, we're open for celebration. So they're obviously not thinking about, I shouldn't say not thinking, but obviously canceling or postponing is not at the forefront of their mind. It's definitely in their mind. It's something that they're thinking of. 
It is in August. It, this will be an odd on episode 162 that we talk about, but let's talk about it fuller because I know a lot of people are worried about it. So what? So let's talk about the plus, the plausibility, not possibility. Is it plausible that they will cancel Star Wars Celebration Anaheim 2020? First of all, I don't <laughs> even want to talk about this because that's so far off. Uh, I, I just I, saw that message too. Your roommate is really cruising for wow, wow. All right, um, you don't want to think I, about it. I don't even want to worry about this because that's like practically six months away. That it's like if we're still, if this is still an issue <laughs> in six months, I'm like, Ooh. I mean, in Canada, I believe we're the actual at this moment the the reported cases are under 200 i believe as of this recording here let me go google it uh google <laughs> most of them being in i believe ontario a little bit in bc and i think quebec and i would guess that they're mostly surrounded toronto montreal and vancouver <laughs> just because yeah. large population Look at this. Canada has reported more than 100 cases. It's like, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, outbreak update for Canada. We are at 193 total cases. So we'll hit, by the time this goes up, we'll probably pass 200 cases in this country. Uh, the thing that's scary though is the United States, uh, they don't really know because they haven't been testing. No, oh, right. And right now they have, I don't know, but they're in a state of emergency or something. Um, so <laughs> this is like find. the most, this is the most like real world episode of anything we've ever, ever done. done. We are now, we're <laughs> CNN. We are CNN. Look, I look me personally. I think I say this during episode 161, Wednesday night, 7 PM live chat, be there that I think by the time celebration hits, this will it won't be gone but it'll be slowed down enough and contained enough that they will start yeah. to uh, i think they will yeah. start to be getting to allow large groups attending i don't think much before that i, I think san diego mm. comic-con i think is in a lot is in is might be too soon that might be, like that might get you gotta take into mind it's not so much what the organizers want to do it's what people will want to do so it's like you could say all the events because i was just ugh. Son of a. Sorry. Here, I'm going to try something by muting my audio on my, my computer. Trump says Hold he on. has been. Uh, he said. Yeah, Trump okay. is now saying. President Trump is saying he has been tested. Uh, and uh, as of what well, I'm reading this, the outbreak hits 49 states. Uh, it was updated one minute ago. President Trump said a travel ban to the United Kingdom and Ireland is going to be announced. So probably by the time this goes up, it will be. Uh, he has been there. I don't see the number. I'm sure people listening and watching right now uh, mm -hmm. can give us a number. 2,100 people in 49 states in the U.S. 193 in Canada, 2,100 in the U.S. So I I'm thinking... You know, the NBA said a minimum of 30 days till they get back. Uh, and, and they, you know, they, they've tested more people than the U.S. <laughs> in total has. Uh, so I think, you know, minimum 30 days we're looking at. I've heard that this might not peak for another two months, maybe three months. We might not get the peak of all of, of, all of this. If that's the case, I still think Celebration is safe because it's so late. Oh, yeah. It's so late. Thank goodness it wasn't in April this year. Not to be selfish about it, but if it was in April, we would not be going. You know, oh no, it, that would be. That we, we would have be. We wouldn't be having a conversation about this at all. Absolutely not. So I think you know, in regards to it's such a small scale, but in regards mm -hmm. to that, it's it's nice that this is so late in the year now. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't change what's going on in the world at all. But I think, but by then, I really think we'll be going to this event. But like guys, I think San Diego Comic Con. That might be too soon. It might be like, I mean, obviously we don't know. This is it's March, whatever, fifteenth, sixteenth. When this is out, like it's early March. We don't know what the world will be like by the time that happens. So who knows? But 
it might be the ideal year to go to these events because if people are like, oh, I can't deal with this, and less and less people go, so the events will be not as crowded. And I'm I'm highly expecting hotel rates will probably go down yeah. once the, it kicks back in because that's the thing. Our world's not going to stop. <laughs> like, no. It's serious. I'm not downplaying. This is serious. And we are this this isolation that we're going through right now is us taking steps to deal with it. Uh, because look at what happened in China. They shut down their cities and pollution went away because their industry literally stopped. Like, the, And now I believe they're all going back to work. So like, let's all be positive about this. And then the, think about the second everything can kind of return to normal, things are going to... Like, People won't have worked for maybe like two weeks or a month. Businesses are going to be like, we got to get, <laughs> we got to get more people in the restaurant. So like, like there's going to be sales constantly at malls. There's going to be mm-hmm. deals at bars and hotels and what have you. So like, this is great in a sense, like maybe this will work out in our favor. So start like, if you are going to celebration, start thinking like, look right now for hotel rooms. And maybe if it's not in your budget, Wait a week and see Wait, what happens. Yeah. Share your thoughts on the in the comments or whatever. This is going on YouTube, yeah. yeah. Let us know what you think. This is uh, this is uh, this could be good when you think about it. <laughs> well, the, but yeah, in a matter of speaking, in regards to our pocket, yeah, pocketbooks <laughs> uh, later on down the road. I, are you, were you planning on going to? Uh, it's funny because I actually forgot to apply for media for Toronto Comic Con this year. Uh, were you going to attend that event? I kind of wanted to go at least one day. I almost uh, applied and I got distracted because uh, this one's not that expensive to go to. No, but uh, but even prior to them canceling, I was like, I guess they're not going. <laughs> like, well, they canceled it, was... it rather late. I thought like it was like it's still happening. I'm like, are oh, you yeah. sh- are you sure it's happening? Because everything else is canceled. Like, I I think the th- part of this whole procedure or this whole uh pandemic i'll remember the most is the thursday thursday friday where like everything yeah. just sort of shut down like uh, it would literally be in the morning they'd be like oh this is fine and by the evening it's like no we're not doing this anymore like toronto comic-con was still advertising on their mm-hmm. on their uh instagram up until basically midway through friday that there was still stuff happening like granted we know how like social media works. You can schedule when your stuff comes yeah. out. It wasn't anything specific. It was like, go to this, you know, they're more ads than anything yeah. else. Right. Well, so. our uh, music awards in Canada, the Juno awards, which celebrates mm-hmm. Canadian musicians, that was supposed to happen on Sunday. Yep. And on Wednesday night, Aaron was watching CNN and during CNN commercials for it kept coming up and they were not very good commercials. But <laughs> Aaron's like, Oh my God. And uh, the next morning gone, canceled so yeah. they were even advertising uh, uh, up until the last minute there and it's <laughs> brock's mr what is happening in this group oh no it's that was an email oh there oh, it goes that's that's uh, that's scott I, our friend to, scott uh, scott is saying it's anyway it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm leaving yeah just just walk way i think look i think it's the right thing to do in terms of canceling all these events star wars celebration the other thing with star wars celebration is uh like you said though yeah okay prices might be down for hotels maybe we'll get there maybe less people will be on the floor is this and that are there gonna be less guests there less uh merchants there like is that gonna be i don't think i think we'll still be able to go and buy our overpriced black series figures uh, over mm, there yeah. but i but like are they gonna get a lot of guests to show up still are they going to want to our panels are they going to allow panels let's say you know are like and if they do are they going to be smaller scale i mean luckily there's no rise of skywalker coming out at the end of the year where they have to like everybody's going to line up but mandalorian season two i'm sure they're going to have a panel i'm sure it's going to be widely anticipated a lot of people are going to want to go to that empire strikes back 40th anniversary you have these panels. Are they going to still do them? And will they be a smaller scale? What do you think? I mean, I my the industry I work in, it's it's corporate meetings. And the last week and a half, all we've been saying is like, because people are canceling shows, it's like webcast, 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 webcast. It's like, there's no reason to fully cancel 
anything when we live in a world like we're we're on the internet right now talking to each other through skype yeah everybody can do this i mean i think we mentioned it in the new episode of rebel scum that like they canceled south by southwest but it's like stream it somewhere there's mm-hmm. all these movies you want to premiere netflix get on top of this and stream it like i think i got this idea from kevin smith listening to his podcast this week it's like there's no reason to not have the event it just means you can't be there but like that that could be like start a revolution of how we do these things where it's like south by southwest i would love to go to one day but like it's expensive Mm -hmm. so if you gave me the opportunity to see all these panels all these uh events uh i I know people are freaking out like because like soccer in the european league especially the italian league uh or italian games um there's no fans in the in the thing you know there this like soccer did was one of the first things i think where they were playing games without fans in the in the what do you call those like stands in seats in the stands thank you but like you still got to see the soccer game so who cares i know like lebron james had a big deal about like oh when they were going to japan to play basketball and it's like i ain't going if there's no fans i'm like come on lebron this is serious uh, and like SmackDown, I think just did their episode, yeah. uh, did an episode with the fans. Like they're in Toronto right now, actually, or well, last Saturday. <laughs> so I wanted to go to that. So I was bummed out when everything came to a grinding halt. You wanted to go to a wrestling show? You wanted to go Sorry. to a you wanted to go to a wrestling show? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm into wrestling. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, well, I'm not into it. I don't watch it that much, but I enjoy going to it. And so you, does my wonderful girlfriend, Rehan. You've, you have changed. If she could meet Triple H, if I could get her a way to meet Triple H, like the points through the roof forever. <laughs> she loves Triple H. That is a random fact. Yep. Yep. <laughs> she, she went to a wrestling school f- for a bit. So she knows how to wrestle. Really? Oh my yeah. God. That's a, she should do a wrestling funny, show. She's about this tall. I, I keep her in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, frick off. Well, your computer's so loud. That's the same. I have the update. Oh, my God. Dear Facebook. Oh, okay. How do I turn this off? Well, that's good news right there. Don't worry about it. Things are happening. Star Wars Celebration. I would suggest to everybody not to be panicked, not to be dismayed by the whole thing. I think it's still going to happen. I think it's going to be fine. Um, I think the reality is right now... All these things are happening, but it is going to be for the better. And because of what's happening now, we will be able to have events like that in August, in late August. Uh, like I said, Comic-Con is still one for me that that might be the last thing to get canceled before we start to allow things to happen again. Because I also don't think the minute that this thing happens, they'll be like, okay, allow massive crowds back. You know, I just don't think that's going to be the case. It's going to be a slow, slow build up to that. Um, which is why I think Emerald City Comic Con is late August. They're not like June or July. They're like uh, end of August is when we're going to do Emerald City. They're not, you know, they're waiting a while um, mm-hmm. to give this thing time because this could go. Like the reality is, the 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 virus could. It, it may never go away. It may always be around. It may no, not be like a flu season for the coronavirus. It might just be a thing. COVID nineteen. Is that what it is? COVID nineteen. That's what it is. Covid nineteen. Yeah, they can they legally can drink. <laughs> in in here, not not in the states. You have to be twenty one over there. It still has a couple of years to to go. Uh, but I think that about wraps up our conversation about Star Wars Celebration being canceled. What do you think, Brock? Zero percent. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, save that like, for save that for the show. Save that for like the show. zero. Like it's just. It's look, it's serious, and I'm not yes. trying to be jokey, but like, the, the, I don't know. I just also I don't want to. I want to be positive. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it's going to get canceled, uh, delayed. I don't think so either. I think it's yeah. it's August that that weekend of August or bust. We will be there. We will also be here at 12 p.m. Eastern for a lunchtime live stream, and 7 p.m. Eastern for the Monday night live stream. Tomorrow you will get uh, lunchtime live streams 12 p.m. through 12 p.m. throughout the week. Uh, Tuesday night scavenger scum at 7 p.m. 
Uh, and Wednesday, episode 161 at 7 p.m. And Thursday, Scavenger Scum, episode 13 at 7 p.m. All of them will be a lot of fun. Live chats for all of them so we can all kind of get together and talk about how it's being isolated in our stuff. Also, RSPN Detours is going to have some cool stuff on there as well. It won't always be Star Wars related over there, but it will have stuff for you to uh, listen to and maybe talk along to if you want a live chat. All right, Brock, anything else you want to add to this convo? Uh... You know, everybody stay positive out there. We're going to deliver the stuff. So talk talk to us. We'll talk about things. Tell us what you want us to create, and we'll go create it, because we're literally sitting in the house doing yeah. nothing. <laughs> I, might make, I might make a Star Wars fan film, all selfies. Like, just <laughs> I'll videotape myself. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be point of view. It'll be, like, third-person point. I'm like, ah, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it could a work. Of a new hope where yeah. you play all the characters. I play all the characters on a selfie stick <laughs> with with homemade homemade costumes. No, but, but I'm really bad at costumes, so it's literally just like a blanket, like a blue. It's a blue blanket. I don't even try. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> the stormtrooper helm. Uh, the stormtrooper helmet is just like half of a styrofoam takeout container. <laughs> <laughs> takeout. I don't do takeout. I can't, I can't. And then, like, you put on your uh, your Darth Maul mask. It's like, Darth Maul, what are you doing here? I couldn't find another costume. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a I'll do a stop motion short with Funko Pops. That's yeah, what I'll do. Motion. Friday then, like, Friday night stop motion Funko Pops. I promise. And then you'll you'll finish like the first five minutes, and it'll be August, and we have to go to. Uh, <laughs> celebration <laughs> yeah and then i can get professional animated. i'll meet some people there i'll meet charles soul or whatever there and we'll do it it'll be fun it'll be a lot of fun yeah. all right that's all for this episode of unleash thank you so much for watching with us this morning uh stay safe out there take care of your loved ones wash your hands uh go buy toilet paper and sell it on ebay because that seems to be the hip thing to do right now I'm James, this is Brock, and he was always scum. Rebel scum. If only your computer went... Hey, scumbags. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.